Welcome to the American Dream. I'm your host, Karen Best. And did you know that five of the top 10 golf courses in the state of Missouri are right here in the Ozarks? I couldn't be happier today to show you some of the best of the best in our area. If you ever watched Payne Stewart, he has a few signature items. One was the hat. So if you wanna dress like Payne while you're playing on Payne's Valley, stop by the pro shop and grab one of these Payne Stewart hats. Also, he had knickers, but I haven't been able to find the knickers here. I'm gonna to have to talk to them about getting some knickers in the shop. Also, if you need to pick up some golf balls, this is a great one. It has logo golf balls of every golf course that Big Cedar has. There's five courses right now, and a sixth one is on the way. So don't forget to pick up the golf balls before you head out to tee off. Payne Stewart really had a style when he was golfing, and you know, this golf club cover, it definitely talks Payne Stewart style. So don't miss picking up this golf club cover before you head out to the links as well. We are on the 19th hole of Payne's Valley. This is a really special course to me because first of all, it was designed by Tiger Woods. Secondly, Payne grew up in Springfield, Missouri, which is where I grew up. He was a couple years older than me, but I watched his career over the years. He won 11 PGA championships, three of those being major. Four years ago, they had the Payne's Valley Cup right here on this same hole. It's hard to believe that I am putting on the green where Tiger Woods, Rory McIlroy, Justin Thomas, Justin Rose, Jack Nicholas, Gary Player, and Payne's son, they putted from this very green. It is so exciting to be here where all of the greats have once putted from this green. I'm so excited. One of the other courses that Big Cedar Golf has is Buffalo Ridge. And here we are at Buffalo Ridge. What's really fun about this course is that you'll see buffalo, not just this fake buffalo, but you're gonna see real buffalo along the course. So always look to your west to make sure you can catch a buffalo. And if you're really lucky, you'll catch the white one. When you finish, head up to Mountaintop Grill because they've got amazing things to eat here. I can't decide between the barbecued pulled pork lap bread, that is absolutely one of my favorites, or the Mountaintop Wagyu burger. Welcome to The Social Burning. We are here with owner Trey Pels, who brought one of the funnest concepts to Branson that has only just recently opened. Trey, tell us a little bit about the concept and why you wanted to bring this in. Absolutely. Essentially, myself and my buddies who are our business partners, uh, we all got tired of being bored. Uh, we love golf, we love pickleball, we love great food, and we decided to take matters into our own hands. Wanted to create the coolest uh, hangout that the Ozarks have to offer. So. Uh, we did all of it, centered around all of our favorite hobbies. And they really did it well. So they've got a PGA inspired putting course, four beautiful pickleball courses. There's a 4,000 square foot patio out there with gorgeous seating and fireplaces. So you guys really set this up to be a one-stop shop for a fabulous evening. Absolutely, that was our big, our big goals. We wanted to create a great social vibe. And so whether you're in a golf and pickleball or just want to have some great food, a good drink and sit on the patio, you know, there's something for everyone. What if it's raining in Branson? You can come to Social Birdie and you can play virtual golf on their simulator here and they have golf courses from all over the world, but we're going to actually replay Paynes Valley. It's in the water.
I hope you had fun with us today at Big Cedar Golf and Social Birdie. What a fun day it was out in the Ozarks. I told you about five of the top 10 golf courses in the state of Missouri. Number four is right behind me, behind Social Birdie Branson Hills Golf Course. So if you have a chance, come check out everything Branson has to offer. I'll see you next time on The American Dream.